Thank you. Uh, oh, there's the Kadoo. Yeah, you that's the guy. You should have told me yeah. it's not so bad getting old and you can go to a oh, rock concert once in a while. Wow. Yeah. I, I prepared a little talk, but I'll probably lose it here. Getting old does have a memory issue and sometimes a seeing issue. Uh, but people, as we see here, do music the best. Although some of my whale friends may disagree with me. In this amazing of the setting of the Sky Church, uh, I think they'd accept the context and agree with the statement. And they'd be delighted to know that this music is for them. I want to take this opportunity to thank the organizers and sponsors of this really historic event. Yeah. And all of you folks who are making it possible. And I especially want to thank the fabulous musicians and entertainers who have generously contributed their time and talent to the cause for the whales. What we are all simply saying is that we want our whales free, we want them healthy, yes. and we want them here in the Salish Sea. Yes. All right, they are our totems and indicators of a healthy marine ecosystem, and we welcome them back to that role which much of our society has too long forgotten. When I began studying whales in the early 1960s, I took along a camera to capture images of their magnificence, some of you can see here. In the 70s, I and others realized that with photographs, we could identify them individually, and with time, we could learn about their lives. What we are now learning humbles us. Humans are not the only animals on this planet to have enduring families, societies, cultures and compassion, communication and music. Some of them went digital long before we did. <laughs> Three minutes of my jabbering up here on stage is not enough time for me to share with you their magnificence and what we've learned, but it is enough time for me to invite you to come and see them by land or by sea and learn much about them from professional naturalists and interpreters. The Pacific Whale Watch Association, one of the sponsors here, We'll take folks out for respectful observing of whales from vessels, and there's excellent land-based viewing of whales from parks and lookouts on the west side of San Juan Island, or from Soup Point, and other locations on Vancouver Island, and there are also many opportunities to see whales from Washington State Ferries and posted points along the whale trail. I, I really wish my mom could be here. She was a musician, she'd be absolutely thrilled. She raised three boys playing in piano bars and restaurants almost every night of her life. And she practiced every day. These people are amazing. And uh, I grew up to the sound of piano playing and the happy mirth of musicians doing what they do best. Now I was gonna uh, paraphrase Country Joe a little bit and lead in a spelling of F-I-S-H, but uh, I got thrown out of music class when I was eight years old, <laughs> so I'm not even going to risk it. But that was going to lead me into fish. Our resident whales here eat fish, primarily Chinook salmon. And uh, I'm in church now. I would have three wishes. One, to restore native Chinook runs throughout their foraging range yeah. as much as possible. Yeah. And as possible. Uh, I was in the Navy for a number of years, and I've taken them on a little bit. Uh, we do have to stop bombing, bombing and sonar blasting in their critical habitat. Yes, yes, yeah. yes. Yeah. That's my cue to end it up here. I want to end up with a plea for Lolita. She right. can be retired. She can right. be returned. Yeah. It's all possible. And we can do it. Lolita. So why not? Thank you.